everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost with another double journal gift bundle set ready to go. Unique items in this one and I thought I'd do a video to show you what is inside. And um, uh, basically included in this gift bundle, you get this little, I believe this is a five by six uh, ish uh, little uh, journal. And she has a tie closure that has a um, eyelet and this can be removed if you so choose um, and it's a very simple these are naked journals again and on the inside we have uh, what I'm calling book plates but I may I line the inner um, uh, back and front covers with uh, book pages and sewn them in and uh, or sewn them and then place them in and then there's different kinds of uh, dyed pages, interesting pages, unique pages on the inside, um, red cabbage, coffee dyeing, rag dyeing, um, hi Holly, my African gray, um, beet dyeing, uh, specialty ink dyeing, um, all sorts of fun, different kinds of papers for you to explore. Yes, Holly has a lot to say about this. And, um, uh, they're, uh, three hole pamphlet stitch with uh, embroidery floss. So you can kind of get the idea what that is like. And I believe there are um, 40 pages in this small journal. Might be something easy to tuck into the purse or take in your, hello, your knapsack or, oh my God, always when I'm videotaping. Okay, and I put a word with some on a, a piece of muslin fabric with some adornments on the corners to mimic rivets. And the next thing in the bundle is this collection of envelopes. Everybody will get 10 envelopes. They're random, all different kinds, different sizes, different colors. And uh, just something so that you would have, they are, uh, you know, to play with. Everybody wants stuff to play with. So this will give you a few things. I'll figure that out later. <laughs> things to play with. And they come wrapped in an avocado dyed paper, which you can use in your crafting as well. And next I made this. Um, this is a coffee dyed and a decorated uh, junk mail envelope. And I thought this would be a, a fun way to put them to good use. And I went ahead and stuffed them. Everybody has a, a postcard of some sort plus a handmade journal card. And let's just get that out. So they're all going to look a little bit different, but along the same theme. Okay. And then we have the big journal. And the big journal is um, a nine by six inches. It also has a tie and it is a soft cover. They're both soft cover journals. And so they're very soft. And this one, I really, really, really love this fabric and I wanted to share it with you all. And um, so what I decided to do was I decided to also line the inside of the journal with this. And, um, but, you know, I thought the, the material was so pretty. I went ahead and I put 100 pages front and back in here of all sorts of different kinds of papers so that you have lots to write on. But I decided to make it a Midori style, um, you know, traveler's notebook style ask where this entire uh, section of paper to this signature is removable. It is bound, it's not sewn in, it is bound by an elastic cording. And that means that when you are done uh, with this um, collection of paper, you can easily um, remove this and put in a new set of paper of your own choosing and um, that you know that's kind of fun I've also included a very old uh, vintage check here uh, the random dates but this one I think is 1882 and I also put in a um, a book plate um, like a an ex libris book plate uh, vintage style from my my uh, vintage digital kit of the book plates so that if you want to put a book plate in here you can easily do that so that it, this one is also sewn and um, it's kind of it's got a very soft fabricy it's fabric so it's going to feel like fabric um, <laughs> but it's got a very soft I want to say almost velvety it's an upholstery fabric but it's just it's a really good quality fabric it's just beautiful and I thought um, you might enjoy it. it is the colors are kind of um, like a burnt burgundy and golds and plums and a lot of the colors of fall so there you go and along with that you're going to get a coffee dyed uh, beautiful 
glassine bag, which I have gone ahead and stuffed chock full of uh, interesting vintage cards. So all different kinds of cards that you're gonna get just at random, all different types, fun things for you to play with. You can either use them as is or you can decorate them. And I've gone ahead and put in some interesting papers. And in this collection, the interesting papers are some beautiful braille paper. If you've never felt that, that's something very interesting to see. It's a dark brown, which is interesting. Uh, a vintage ledger page. Uh, a magazine, a vintage magazine page, along with a vintage newspaper, some pages from a vintage newspaper. So lots of fun things that you can play with and we'll give you some ideas of what you can, you know, you can just go to town and have lots of fun. Now the, the two little books, they either come in the blue or the uh, rusty green, just depending on what material I had. I didn't have enough to make everything all in one. It's, it's, this material is a very nice, um, it's almost like a flower sack style material. It's very soft cotton and they're both the same way. And uh, so it'll just be at random. They all have a word on the front and um, a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy this. Come on over to the Etsy shop. They'll be available there. There are exactly 12. And um, uh, I wish you much luck and much uh, bounty this holiday season. I hope you're having fun. This might be some fun ideas for some gifts for friends or for yourself or, um, you know, just inspiration to make things. Uh, I hope you have uh, a fantastic crafty day today. And and uh, please check out my Etsy shop for these items. Also my vintage digital kits. I also have a, um, a monthly emailed newsletter that is um, free. You can get a free digital image emailed to you monthly along with a note from the bookmaker and a checklist of supplies to make junk journals along with some junk journal tips. And um, um, come and join our Facebook group. We're having fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and we're also making things from um, the videos. So if you want to show us what you made, pop it on there. We'd love to see it. We love to share ideas and uh, everybody's very friendly and we love to um, answer questions uh, or people just jump in and answer, they answer on my questions. So I think it's amazing. So thank you for that. And um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think that's everything. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and Facebook group. Just pan around here so I can see a little bit more. Okay, don't want to show you my mess over there because that's where I was making stuff. <laughs> I had to, I had to float out into the kitchen because I was in uh, stuff overwhelm. Oh, oh yes. Also, you might find a few extra little bonus items in your box. Um, just some surprise things I thought you might like to play with and have fun with. Okay, so take care, everybody. Have an awesome day. Remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Oh, where's my little guy? Where's my little guy? Okay, so here it is. Here's the drive-by. Ready? Ready? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, here it comes. Okay, and there we go. Oh, hello, everybody. How are you? Happy holidays. Yay! <laughs> Mom gave me the worst haircut ever, but she promises it'll grow out. <laughs> All right. Bye from Sunny. Um, I just woke him up. <laughs> okay, everybody, take care, and I'll be talking to you soon. We'll be learning more stuff together and have lots of fun. Take care. Bye-bye.